Are you constantly pushing yourself to be better, faster, and stronger? But what happens when this drive to be better turns toxic? In this video, we're gonna take a closer look at the dark side of self-improvement and how it's not only failing us, but also holding us back. You will discover why self-improvement sometimes doesn't work and could make things for you even worse. Learn how to avoid the pitfalls of toxic self-improvement and discover alternative, effective ways to improve yourself. Keep watching to find out. In order to understand why toxic self-improvement doesn't work, we first need to define what it is. Toxic self-improvement refers to the negative and harmful behaviors and attitudes that can result from an excessive focus on self-improvement. It can manifest in a variety of ways, but some common examples include setting unrealistic and unachievable goals for oneself, constantly comparing oneself to others and feeling inadequate, neglecting self-care and mental health in the pursuit of self-improvement, being overly critical and harsh with oneself, using self-improvement as a way to avoid dealing with underlying emotional issues. Toxic self-improvement can also be driven by societal pressure and perfectionism. It can be hard to resist the constant messages that we see in media and social media, telling us to be better, happier, and more successful. But when we internalize these messages, and they drive us to constantly strive for perfection, it can lead to negative consequences. It's important to mention that self-improvement is not always bad, and we all have the right to strive for betterment in our lives. It's when it becomes toxic and damaging for ourselves that it becomes something to pay attention to and make a change. Now, after you know what toxic self-improvement is, we'll take a closer look at the associated problems. The problem with toxic self-improvement is that it can lead to negative consequences such as low self-esteem and burnout. When we're constantly pushing ourselves to be better, we can easily fall into the trap of self-criticism and inadequacy. We may start to believe that we're not good enough and that we'll never be good enough. This can lead to feelings of hopelessness and despair, and can make it harder to make progress in our lives. Another problem with toxic self-improvement is that it can be harmful to our physical and mental health. When we're always striving to be better, we may neglect our self-care and mental health in the pursuit of self-improvement. This can lead to burnout, fatigue, and a host of other physical and mental health problems. It's important to note that toxic self-improvement can be hard to recognize and acknowledge, as it often comes from a good place, the desire to be better. However, when it becomes harmful, it's crucial to take action and make a change. Therefore, let's explore alternative approaches to self-improvement that lead to real and lasting results. Say goodbye to toxic habits and embrace a healthier, more sustainable path to self-improvement. The good news is that there are many ways to improve oneself that don't involve pushing oneself to the brink of exhaustion or self-criticism. Some alternatives include number 1. Self-compassion. Instead of constantly judging and criticizing yourself, try to be kind and understanding towards yourself. Self-compassion involves treating yourself with the same kindness and care that you would offer to a good friend. Number 2. Setting realistic goals. Instead of setting unrealistic goals that are impossible to achieve, try setting goals that are challenging but achievable. This will help you feel a sense of accomplishment and progress without feeling overwhelmed or discouraged. Number 3. Practicing self-care. Self-care is essential for maintaining mental and physical health. Make sure to prioritize things like exercise, healthy eating, and sleep, and don't neglect your emotional needs. Number 4. Seeking professional help. If you're struggling with underlying emotional issues such as anxiety or depression, it can be helpful to seek out professional help. A therapist or counselor can help you work through these issues in a safe and supportive environment. Reflecting on what truly matters to you. Instead of chasing after perfection or societal expectations, take some time to reflect on what truly matters to you. What do you value? What brings you joy? 
What are your priorities? When we focus on what truly matters to us, it's easier to set meaningful goals and make progress. It's also important to remember that self-improvement is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. It's not about being perfect, but about being mindful, compassionate, and making progress. Telling the difference between healthy self-improvement and toxic self-improvement can be tough. Some self-improvement techniques may seem harmless at first glance, but if used in the wrong way, they can actually do more harm than good. Think about it. Have you ever met someone who thinks they're just not good enough no matter what they do? It's like they're trying to buy love and validation from the outside world, but the truth is, real self-worth can't be bought with accomplishments. It has to come from within. Here's the big question. Be truthful with yourself. Do you believe you are worthy and lovable and that self-improvement is just an added bonus or do you feel that you need to improve yourself in order to be worthy and lovable? If you find yourself struggling with feelings of unworthiness and unlovability, it's crucial to find something that helps you discover these feelings independently of your productivity and accomplishments. And that's all for today. We hope you learned something from this video. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to learn more about building unbreakable habits, be sure to check out our video, The Scientific Way to Build Unbreakable Habits. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next video here on the Tree of Life channel.